Now, Frankie, you have inspired our next parenting topic, um, technology at the okay. dinner table. Oh, I know. <laughs> now, you posted this picture, Frankie, back a little while ago, saying it's the reality of dinner out with the kids. I'll admit it. I'm an iPad mom. Swore I never would be, but here we are. Um, now, whilst lots of people praised you for your honesty, you did get a little bit of a backlash. People saying, oh, it's bad table manners or it's lazy parenting. What was your reaction? I guess you posted that not thinking there would be a reaction. Um, I kind of knew there probably would be, um, but that's kind of why I did it. Not, not to spark a conversation or a reaction, but to kind of say to the parents that do do it, look, there's other parents out there that do the same thing. Like, I look on Instagram and see pictures of the perfect family out at a posh restaurant and everything looks perfect and the kids look like they're sitting quietly and eating their broccoli perfectly. And that's just not the reality for most parents. So it was kind of me giving a nod to those ones saying, look, it's okay, some of us do it as well. Like every so often your kids need to switch off, you need to switch off, what's the problem with that? Um, so yeah, I mean, the lazy parenting thing, I'm like, come on, that's a bit unfair. But I know that everyone's not going to agree, and that's fair enough. But I just wanted to reach out to the ones that, you know, do use iPads, and you shouldn't feel guilty about it. But also, we all parent well, in our you, own way. What people didn't see from that picture is you'd actually been in time with the boys all day. You'd done sort of mm. outdoorsy things all day. They'd been on the go all yeah. day. That's the first time they've literally sat down and looked at anything. Yeah, we'd been around London all day. We'd been to the Sea Life Centre. It was Carter's birthday. Um, he had this thing he wanted to go to a hotel, as you do at five. Um, and he'd wanted to go to Sea Life Centre. So they'd been really busy and they were tired. Um, and so, yeah, we went for dinner as grown-ups. My sister and her husband were there. We wanted to sit and have 10 minutes piece where we could chat and have a glass of wine. Um, and then I always think the flip side to that is, I would have had people eye rolling and tutting and complaining if my kids were running around, running under the table, shouting and screaming. So I feel like as a parent, you can never win and someone's always got something to say about it, which I find other parents judging other parents a bit annoying. Like you can judge quietly in, in your own head. We all judge people, but to have to write it and to get irate about it, I find that strange. So for the sake of 20 minutes peace over your dinner, you've had a long old day with the little ones running around, Brenda. Mm -hmm. Where do you stand? I'm There's a, nothing wrong I'm with against, it, I am the against. I'm that mother that's against. And, you know, I'm old-fashioned and I believe, you know, yeah, the iPad itself, it's just a bigger form of a mobile phone for me. And at a dining table, I just don't think it, it should be allowed because... But what you, if it is educational blocking, sort of stuff? If it's, ed it's a, if it's an educational toy or a book, you know, you can do something like that. But I think the iPad... IPad, there's so many different facets, as we've seen Alexa and everybody else that wants to get on that iPad. And when you put that iPad up, you're blocking the face-to-face -face contact with that child. I want to have some interaction, some eye-to-eye -eye interaction. How's that book going, darling? Or, you know, that's how I raised my children. I bought them educational toys. It was doing the colours, the animals, the songs, and they, they were very, very taken with it and they were engaged with it. I just think that the iPad technology is a bit too soon for, you know, up to a certain age, after a certain age, after your teenager, go for it and you can pay for your own contract and everything else. But at the moment, I think that it's it's more about just going back to the basics Trouble and improving live, those skills. We live in a world now where most schooling is done online, you know, particularly now with lockdown. So yeah. kids learning how to use devices is, is, is very important. But, but I'm kind of with Frankie. I think if you've spent all day with your kids and they're, you know, you, been overstimulated and they're tired. You see it a lot in restaurants and, and I just think, you know, I, I look at you in that photo and you look so sort of like happy and relaxed with your glass of wine and you can have a bit of adult conversation <laughs> for the first time. And, you know, and they're absolutely fine. Oh, no. And, you know, it's always about context, isn't it? If you haven't seen your kids for six weeks and that's the first time you've seen them and you stick them in front of a device, that's a whole other conversation. But... I think it's absolutely fine. I just, you at know, at the dining just, table, mm. I think you need to, to you know, if you're going to yeah, teach anything. Yeah, but that's not a dining. That's a restaurant. It's, I but think it was at a dining home, table. And what, what I've always done. I mean, my kids are quite old now, but when they were younger, it's like no devices while we're eating. Yeah. You know, we have a conversation. Yeah. But when you're at that bit where you've had your food, mm. everyone's just like, especially in a restaurant, and as the adults, you want to hang around a bit with a glass of wine. 
and the kids are getting agitated, it's fine. Just yeah. that, and you, you put settings on iPads for children. You make if sure you know they... how to put the settings, but well, you, you just don't, take then it then into you... a shop and go do the settings for me. Yeah, yeah. but, but Frank, know. I guess that's you. You do that, like like most of us parents. And you, you, I mean, I'm I am slightly with you as well, Frank. I have to say, just for the sake of 10, 15, 20 minutes every so often, it. Uh, it can save you. It mm. is the modern day book, unfortunately, mm. as much as we mightn't like it. But as you say, Jay, and that's what our schools is what we're my stepdaughters learn everything on their iPads now. Mm. Um, so yeah, we're, we're you'll continue to do so when it suits you, Frankie. Yeah, exactly. It's just one of those things. They're not on it all the time. And my kids do read books. They are able to hold a conversation. Um, and, and I get that it's not for everyone. And I'm kind of fine about that. You know, if I got a book out for my kids at the dinner table, and I was like, oh, darling, I have a read of that. They'd look at me like, are you joking? Like they just, I could just about let, get them to let me read a book to them at night, you know? Um, and, and, and on the flip side, if I'd have put a picture up and said, oh, I'm out for dinner and the nanny's got the kids, I would have got stick for that as well. So I just think you just can't win and you've just got to do what works for you. Like I commend parents that don't use iPads. Like, you know, you've got to be on it all the time. And I think that's amazing. Equally, I can appreciate each side. So I just, I just don't really get irate about things. That's my that's my thing. So I find it funny that people do. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's always someone with a comment, that's for sure, is there? <laughs>